up. So today, I thought it'd be a really good idea to kind of show you guys one of my favorite products at the moment, like for my skin, lashes, makeup, just every single product that I literally live for and use like yearly, daily, weekly, hourly. Um, I just thought it'd be a good idea because a lot of you guys always comment on my makeup and how I got my skin so clear because fun fact, I used to have a lot of acne growing up as a child, as a teenager. I mean, don't we all? <laughs> but um, yeah, some of these products definitely helped my skin clear up, especially getting older. So these are just my personal favorites. They're not sponsored. They're not um, given to me. This is all the stuff that I bought with my own money. Um, and that I just want to tell you guys about. Before we get into this video, make sure you hit that subscribe button if you guys haven't already. And also click that notification bell. That way you guys do not miss a single video. And also if you guys want to head down to my Instagram and follow me at Alicia Percy. I have some cool content on there. And just, you know, give it a follow. What's stopping you? <laughs> Okay, so number one, I'm going to give you my top secret about how I got my lashes so long. So when I get lash extensions, always the case is my lashes always fall out and I just pull them out and it's not really good. So whenever that happens, I kind of use the serum. It is called DHC Eyelash Tonic. It is the best thing I've ever used in my life. Hold on. Yeah, it is literally the best thing I've used in my life. I don't really like lash extensions at the moment just because I do like the natural eyelashes that I have at the moment. But I mean on the special occasions I might do lash extensions. But um, ever since I've been using this since last year in July, I bought it in LA and it wasn't even that expensive. It was like a range from like $10 to $20. Um, and this is the second one I got. I haven't opened it yet because it lasts a long time. I've had the other one for a whole year. Still not finished yet. And it has literally done wonders for my lashes. Like, they are so long. I end up just putting it on the top at the moment. And sometimes my eyebrows too. Um, just because my bottom lashes are getting so long. So, <laughs> it doesn't really need it. But basically, it comes in this. Um, I'll show you guys my new one. Because the other one's a bit, you know... <laughs> done but um it comes in a clear serum and all you do you just screw it it's just like a mascara brush and you basically just pull through your lashes it's really easy it doesn't hurt and yeah i find that this has been honestly the best thing that's happened to my lashes because they've just grown so much and they look so healthy and thick and luscious <laughs> is related to my lashes this is my go-to mascara it is called roller lash by benefit now let me tell you I've been through so many mis like mascaras growing up I used to try to do YouTube like makeup tutorials and all the stuff trying to see who was the best mascaras and all that and I went through quite a bit now I came across this brand um, and mascara I came across this mascara quite a while ago, like two to three years ago, and it just changed, it just changed my mascara lash um, level to like 100, <laughs> and it just gives my lashes what it needs. It really lifts them up, curls them, makes them nice and not tangled, clean cut, thick, luscious, <laughs> everything you'd want in mascara and on your lashes. So, um, I'm wearing it actually right now. What I do usually do is I put the Arbonne mascara on before it, just so it has like a semi-coat. And that also grows lashes if you guys want a mascara that grows lashes. And then I put this over top and it just, I swear, it just doubles my lashes. So, yeah, this is honestly going to be the best mascara I've ever used um, with 10 years of putting makeup on my face. <laughs> So, number three, I have the Too Faced Lip Injection Extreme Lip Plumper. Now, I'm actually wearing it now. Um, I'm not going to lie. The first time I tried this in the shop, I had the biggest rash around my face because I didn't realize that. Like, normally I wear lip balm and all that. And I put it all over my skin. But obviously, you can't do it because it's a lip plumper. And it was so bad. But... And saying that I'm actually obsessed with this lip plumper. It just gives it such a nice color to the lips. 
Um, as you can tell, it just gives a nice natural look. It's very glossy um, and it plumps my lips. It's great. <laughs> I mean, that's it does the job. And um, I've had, this is my second one. I have another one in my purse just in case I want to, you know, look good outside of the world in here. <laughs> But yeah, I really swear by this if I want to have a good lip. I rarely wear lipstick now because I just wear this. Um, I don't know why. I just don't really like lipstick at the moment. So the only thing I've been putting on my lips this whole entire year is this. So yeah, definitely swear by this. There is one that is below this. Just lip injection. But it's got a pink color and I wasn't too sure of it. And... I mean, go big or go home. So I got the extreme and it honestly has changed my lip game. It just looks so nice on my lips. So yeah. Okay, so number four is to do with my eyebrows. So, boom. <laughs> now let me tell you, I've been using Anastasia Brow Wiz Beverly Hills for four years? Five. I don't even know at this point. This is the only eyebrow pencil anything to do with my brows that I use. I haven't used anything else since I've used this. It is the um, it is the little tip one. So it's got the little tip, and it just gives my eyebrows such a natural look. It makes them look thick, defined, um, everything I want. Yeah. <laughs> so I just love it because it doesn't give you that like drawn on look and makes it look very natural because it is fine you can draw hairs with it and then on the other side it has a brush and honestly I swear by this I won't ever use another eyebrow pencil or anything um probably till the day I die because this is just like my all-time favorite number five now I do use other concealers but the one that I've been loving and haven't been able to put down is Fenty Beauty's one. I use the color 230 um, and I don't know why but it just gives my skin such an elegant perfection look. Like under my eyes usually you can still see my bags but with this it literally just makes them disappear. I also put it on my t-zone just to make my face light up a little bit more but this honestly I swear by this and I still have other concealers left that I need to use up so that's the only real reason that I'm using other concealers but once they're all finished like I'll be using this every other day of the week but I would recommend get two colors so you get a lighter color if you want to highlight your face a little bit more and then get a, your skin tone color so you can hide blemishes and when you get a fake tan and all that or a darker tone of your skin when you sunbake definitely helps out. So number six, I always swear by a nice little setting spray. Now I love the Arbon Let It Set Refreshing Finish Spray because whenever it sprays, it doesn't just squirt on your face. It feels like a nice mist and it's very light on the face, but it also helps um, keep all pollution out of your skin or chemicals and all that when you spray it and it gives your makeup just a really nice finishing um, glowy touch so I'm just gonna spray it real quick um, see that like oh, it, it just feels so nice and light and whenever I use like other sprays it's very heavy and just like sprayed onto my face when this is a really nice mist so that's what I really like about this one so number seven this is the last makeup one I'll be showing you guys but everyone knows what this is it is a beauty blender now after I used a beauty blender years ago I'm gonna say four years ago five years ago I mean that's when I started doing like makeup like heavy because <laughs> of my acne but um once these came out literally changed my life I've never gone back to using a brush ever when applying my foundation concealer and all that because this is just like holy grail to me you know so like whenever i use it i love beauty blenders just because it really blends out the foundation and concealers really nice nicely and it looks natural it doesn't look caked up doesn't look brushed out there's no lines it's just all really perfectively blended out that's why it's called a beauty blender but yeah i really like these i just Everyone knows beauty blenders are great, but um, yeah, this is definitely a holy grail that I will never ever 
I don't think I could ever do my makeup without a beauty blender now. So yeah. So number eight for me is the Tea Tree Oil by The Body Shop. Now, I use different stuff to get rid of my acne and obviously a lot of masks, which I'll show you later. But whenever I get pimples now or I have scars and all that, this is honestly like my lifesaver. I always apply this whenever I have something now, um, now that I'm older. And it just works like a charm and it kind of just dries out the spots. I mean, tea tree oil is really good for skin and um, it's natural. I don't really like putting chemicals on my skin because it's not natural and skin's natural. So I definitely love this. I tried it ages ago when I was a kid and it worked when I had acne. And then I found out that people actually sell them for skin. So I'm like, great. And now I put it on every time I have a pimple and it just slowly goes away and it just feels refreshing on the skin. This one says to actually just put it on a cotton tip and dab it on your pimple. But I just go hectic and I put literally dot, dot, dot and then rub it all over my face. I know that's not what you're supposed to do, but it just really helps my skin like that. And uh, yeah, especially when I'm breaking out, it's just like that works for me. So I only put this on whenever I have like a whole lot of pimples or stuff like that. My skin's pretty good at the moment, but yeah. Second last, number nine. This is gonna be my all time favorite face mask I've ever used in history. It is by Origins. It is called Clear Improvement Charcoal Honey Mask to Purify and Nourish. Yeah, <laughs> so originally they had just a charcoal one, which that's what I swore by. My mom gave it to me actually. She was gonna throw it out. I'm like, no honey, I will take it. My skin was horrible at the time. And when I tell you that it helped my skin after just doing it one time, I tell you that's what happened. Like I said, I had acne when I was younger and when I tried it, it just cleared my skin up like that. It was so crazy how effective um, it worked. So when they came out with the charcoal and honey, I definitely wanted to try it out because the honey kind of nourishes and put the moisture back in the skin. And after I tried this, I literally have never gone back to any other masks just because if something works for me, I'm going to stick to it. I mean, I do have a few other masks that I do use to switch up um, on my skin so my skin doesn't get used to this. Um, like hair does with shampoo and conditioner and all that. So sometimes I change it up, but this I will always use is, and it will always be my go-to just because it has been working for my skin for years and hasn't failed me once. <laughs> the last product, number 10, is gonna be my all-time favorite moisturizer. It is the Arbonne Bio Hydra. Um, moisturizer. Now, they came out with this product quite um, not too long ago. I think it was last year. And my mom introduced me to it because to it she sells Arbonne. So I was like, okay, sweet, I'm gonna give it a try. But because I do like um, moisturizing my skin and making sure it's not dry, because when it's dry, that's when acne actually does start to happen for me. So once I tried this, it has honestly just been a lifesaver, and I don't really use any other moisturizer apart from this now because it just really moisturizes and nourishes my skin the way I want it to. I use all other like cleanses and products but I will always use this as a moisturizer. They also have a full range which I use definitely at night just to make sure my skin is nice and nourished. I'm using that word a lot. Um, but yeah, I just really like how it feels light on the skin. Um, doesn't feel heavy and doesn't clog my pores with any bad stuff because it's all natural, vegan and does the job good. <laughs> well guys, that is my top 10 products that I've ever used and my all-time favorites. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, I definitely just wanted to give you guys what I use um, day to day to, I guess, make me look half decent. <laughs> so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and also comment down below what videos you'd like to see next and what products are your favorite because I'd love to know. I want to try some new stuff. So yeah, let me know down in the comments. I love you guys all so much and yeah, I'll see you guys next time. Peace. Love you guys.